The jury actually uh, spent the morning listening to closing arguments, and it started with the prosecutors telling the jury that Officer Randall Carrick made bad choices that night, choices that led to the use of excessive force and that ended Jonathan Farrell's life. They also focused on the importance of the dash cam video you just showed us and reminded the jury that Carrick actually shut down his camera before his encounter with Farrell and that the only video they have came from one of the other responding officers. Uh, listen to this. Thankfully, Officer Neal had his DMVR on. Because if he hadn't had that DMVR on, ladies and gentlemen, we wouldn't know the truth. We wouldn't know that on the morning of September 14, 2013, that Jonathan Farrell was unarmed that Jonathan Farrell posed no threat, no harm to the officers on the scene. We wouldn't have known these things, ladies and gentlemen, if it wasn't for that DMVR. Jonathan Farrell would have been another young man who died at the hands of the police. Now, the defense, meanwhile, argued that their client was in the fight for his life. They reminded the jury that he was just doing his job that night, that he had actually requested to add himself to the call because it was a priority one call, and that even though Carrick made several statements right after the shooting, he still chose to take the stand to explain his actions to jurors. Here's part of Carrick's testimony from last week. I thought I was going to die. Why? Wow. Because nothing I would do would stop him. What was the reason that you continued to fire your weapon? Because he wouldn't stop. He kept trying to get to my gun. Now, the defense also tried to inject reasonable doubt in closing arguments, reminding the jury that Carrick's DNA was found under Farrell's fingernails. They also suggested that Farrell didn't go to the house looking for help, and they claimed that it is possible that the accident happened after Farrell tried to break into the house. The state called that theory a distraction in its rebuttal. Uh, Carrick, again, is on trial for voluntary manslaughter. The jury is expected to start deliberating at some point this afternoon, Ashley.